Hey, it's the Shingdao Explorer. You ready to check out some more Shingdao with me? Let's go. Inside St. Michael's Cathedral right now, it's got a huge pipe organ, temple. The biggest feature though is the fact that there's a huge church right here in China, which is pretty awesome. It's just a nice tourist attraction. There's a lot of people. Sometimes people, you know, they take wedding photography outside. They uh, spend a lot of money to do that, but it's a one-time thing. They don't get married inside the church, but they do do the wedding photography outside the church. But this obviously isn't the main attraction today. We're gonna head over to the GMO market in just a few, but I just wanna show you what this church was like. It's really nice. This is GMO Lu. This is your knockoff capital of Xingdao, China. You can buy all your expensive goods here. They'll be on heavy discount, but you have to bargain for them and you gotta bargain hard. Don't accept their price. Uh, right behind me, this is the uh, like the cheaper stuff. There's not a lot of people in there. It's pretty quiet actually, but they still have some pretty cool stuff. Check out. And behind me over here, inside, right over there, is the you know knockoff place with the, the fake watches and fake purses and the place we really have to bargain. There's a lot of people, so just make sure you watch pockets. But it'll be a fun time. Let's go. So this is the more deserted portion of GMO. There's a lot of home furnishings and luggage and things like that. I don't really have to explain too much. You'll kind of see it through this uh, video. But now would be a good time to talk about surviving your first trip to GMO if you make the journey. First thing, their first offer is usually a joke. It's way too high. It's a ridiculous price. That watch is not worth a thousand RMB. It's worth 200 RMB, maybe even a hundred RMB. So their first offer, they're maybe just throwing your way because they think you're a foreigner and they think you'll pay for it no matter what. Now you're smarter than that. So when they finally give you a reasonable price, and I'm talking like maybe 300, 400 RMB, which is already still too high for most items, you just cut that off by anywhere from 50 to 75% and you say to them, oh, I'll give you 100 RMB or 150 RMB, depending on what this item particularly is. And sometimes you can go even very, very low on your first offer. Which brings me to tip number two. When you give them your first offer, there's gonna be a time where they just look at you and sometimes they laugh. They laugh at you like, ah ha ha, that's so silly what you just said. But guess what? That actually means that they're likely to consider your offer and in fact sometimes it means you offered too much and now they're just going to play the game that they've played for years and try and you know nickel and dime you and try and get some more money from your initial first offer. Oh no 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 I can't take that like oh, I'll go a little bit lower and then you're like no I'll have to go a little bit higher. So that brings me to my third tip which is you know what, if you're not happy with the way the negotiation's going and they're not giving you the price you want, stop and just go to another store. That's totally okay. When that happens, sometimes they're going to try and call you back or pull your arm and be like, no, 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 I can go lower, I can go lower. They might even shout at you and say, oh, well, I'll go lower, I'll go lower. And sometimes it might be your tactic or strategy you want to take with them. But here's my fourth tip. When you first give them your first offer, and they just stop negotiating with you, stop. Don't try and pursue this. I'll show you an example of that later in this video, but that's not a good reason to negotiate with the person. They obviously don't want your money, so just move on. The last thing is this. Try to keep some perspective. So tip number five, you know, even if you are paying that extra 10 or 20 or 30 RMB more than what you wanted, you're getting a pretty cool product. 
You know, something that might cost, like say $500 in America, just costs you 10 bucks here. So even though they might be getting some more money off you, that's their job. They like it, they want to make sure that they get some extra cash. But you're also making some pretty good savings yourself. So right here, I'm going to show you my very first negotiation of the day. And albeit it's very quick, I'll explain what happens. You want to give me these shoes for 150 Yeah, they're big. They're definitely big. How about... I mean, I'll give you, I'll give you 140. Then we'll say okay and a happy day. E buy so sure. 140. That's that's ten dollars a piece for two shoes. That's okay. So that video was pretty quick. I'm sorry, I only started recording halfway through the negotiation, but I'll explain what happened. So my friend wanted these shoes, right? The uh, Yeezy shoe, and I uh, went in, got them, tried them on. They're pretty big for my friend's foot. And I said, okay, what's your first offer? And they gave me some joke price, like 500 RMB. It's too much. So I said, give me your real first offer. And then they're like, okay, we'll give it to you for 260. That sounds like a great price because, you know, it's only like 30, 45 dollars in that range, right? It sounds like a really good deal, but that's really good for them because they know that they're making a lot of money selling you at that price. So I went low first and I said, I'll give them to you for 120. Probably could have gone lower, but I just wanted to make it a very quick negotiation and then be on my way. So then they're like, no, no, we can't take 120. I'll give it to you for 220. And then suddenly it turned into 200. And then it was like, okay, I'll give you 130. And then they'll say, oh, we'll give it to you for 180. And then I said, I'm going to go next door. And then they're suddenly starting to really lower that price down from started at 260 and goes all the way down to 150. And then I finally said, you know, 140, then we're done. I think she saw that I was recording the video and that's why she stopped negotiating because she just didn't want to give away at some certain price. But anyway, a pair of Yeezys for 140 RMB, it's like 20 bucks. It's not too bad. Probably could have gotten it for lower. Hopefully these little videos uh, help you when you negotiate at GMO and get you a lower price yourself. So this is the second floor of the main portion of GMO. Uh, it's mostly shoes and handbags and shoes and handbags and shoes and handbags as you can clearly see. Uh, I'm going to show you a handbag store in just a moment. One of the owners was nice enough to let me film and even I uh, recorded a negotiation with her as well. So I'm in one of the shops at GMO right now. The lady is nice enough to let me film and show off some of the goods here. They have like, you know, Gucci wallets, Supreme stuff. There's some bags, there's Gucci. Right, and you have to negotiate. You have to always give a good price. Go see Coco. She's got the stuff. Here's Tori Birch. Oh, friend? <laughs> For friend, of course. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. I'm sure she'll like it. It's even got the tag. <laughs> My goodness, that's so funny. It has a tag. She's a black or good. I, I like black Lansa. too. Lansa. I know, I am blue. And Lansa, oh. and Hesa, and, and even Zissa. <laughs> but she wanted white. And I looked at every store and they didn't have it. Hello? Can you believe that? Alrighty, how much? How much are you paying for this deck? Two sixty. 260 Coco, you're trying to rip me off. <laughs> 260 Okay. Two fuck. Brenda. I know you're my This uh no this uh vale San by Wush. 350. I know it's 350 oh. normally, and you're trying to give me the good discount price. And you found it for me, and I appreciate that. But I will give you 120 for this. 120. Ah no. This is what it's worth to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, this is not the part of two. Mm. Yeah, it's got the two. I got you. Yeah, but... <laughs> okay, but... 220. Oh. Wash your eye. This is bigger. Yeah, I get it's oh. bigger. I get it. Remember, smaller, so you're expensive. You told me that last time. Xiao, <laughs> 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 Hengui. Oh, mm. yeah. 
140. I don't know. 140 is a yes. My friend. I know. Hey. Good guys. Huh? Oh, buongiorno. <laughs> Oh, he's uh, Italy Goran. Where's the one? You see my friend? Well, no, no, no. no, no I don't know him, but uh, what's it called? He's speaking Italian. He's speaking. <laughs> it's so cool. Hola. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, alrighty. Perfect. 150. Isn't that awesome? C'è anche c'è anche la tregolla. Okay, la. How la? How la? You know it's a good price. Come on. Come on. 170. 160. 160. Okay, okay. So, 160 for this Michael Kors knockoff purse. And that's just the way it is. So that's an example of a negotiation. That was actually pretty quick. I mean, it only was about two or three minutes. Some negotiations can take 10 to 15 minutes. If you don't budge and they don't budge, you just keep on going until you're uh, satisfied with your product. Um, there's some other things I bought. I didn't get videos of them, but I went to my uh, watch lady, we, I bought watches from her a bunch of times, and I bought this watch, right, Cartier, right, and this one was, I think, 180, 180 RMB, it's probably a lot cheaper than that, but to be honest, I just never really bothered haggling too much with the watch lady that I bought watches from, she usually gives me a decent enough price. I even bought this uh, belt, this Salvatore, I bought this belt. And it was, uh, this belt online is like $300, $500, something like that. And at GMO it was $750. So I can't tell the difference between this belt and a belt you would get in America. But there's a guy just now, see, I tried to get a shirt for my friend that had some broken English on it. But I asked him, okay, what's the price for this shirt? And he said 90 RMB. This is like $15. It's not even worth It's not even worth a, a quarter of that. So I'm like, no, I'll give you 30. And he's like, no, 90 is all I'm going to give you. And that's the thing. When you come here, some people are just not going to budge. They're not going to uh, change their minds. They think that, you know, you're a foreigner. And guess what? Foreigners have to pay a certain price or something like that. So... You know, you just have to keep checking from store to store to store, go around, check around, and you'll eventually okay. find what you want and somebody who wants to give you the price that you are willing to pay.
Okay, so that was my big GMO trip. Uh, if there's something you didn't see or you want to know about, or if you think you could have gotten a better price on some of those products, let me know in the, the comment section uh, below, right over there. And uh, thank you for all for watching my channel so far. And uh, until next time, explorers, keep on exploring.